There are very few new vehicles at SOFX 2018. One of them is this King Abdullah II Design and Development Bureau, Al Marad. This is an 8x8 vehicle, and for high level mobility, it's based on a Tatra 8x8 chassis, which features a central wishbone. On that is fitted a all well steel hull, which gives the pro crew protection from small arms fire and cannon fire up to Stanag 4569 level 3. This particular version is fitted with the locally developed Snakehead Capola, which can be armed with a, a 5.56, a 7.62 or a 12.7 inch machine gun. In fact, at the show this year, they are shown a twin version of that. Other turrets can also be fitted up to a two-person turret, for example, armed with a 30mm cannon and 7.62 machine gun. Tartar was selected because it's got a very high level of mobility, and a 4x4 version of that is used by another vehicle which is already in production in Jordan. The gross vehicle weight of this vehicle is around 25 tonnes, and that includes the crew, the weapon, the ammunition and the fuel. So there's three examples being shown at the show. This one with the Snakehead Capola, another one without a weapon station, and another one with a two-person turret with a 30mm cannon and 7.62 machine gun. The typical crew is commander, gunner and driver, and it carries eight dismounts. When required, they can rapidly enter or rapidly dismount through the rear ramp and also get back in again and the crew is, the dismounts are seated for either side facing inwards on special blast attenuating seats and if you require loading to be carried out the seats fold up and that gives you plenty of space. This particular vehicle is not amphibious because most countries in the Middle East do not require that amphibious capability so it's based on a proven design to give through life cycle costs and when compared with a track vehicle it has a very high level of strategic and tactical mobility.